App Sheet Tutorial for Beginners. In this video, we're going to be talking about an incredible software called App Sheet and how you can use this to create a application through Google's very own services without any code, okay? So we all know that creating a UI and creating an application requires a lot of coding from PHP to HTML to CSS to JavaScript, and that could be a little hasty work. But Google's very own app sheet software allows you to create an application for yourself without the use of any code. So we're going to be talking about it in great detail. So to start things off, you're going to come over to appsheet.com. Now over here, you can see supercharge your work with no code. Down here, it shows you the intuitive tools that you can create through AppSheet, and we're going to be going through all of this. But before all of that, let's go ahead to the pricings. Now, there's four different plans, okay? There's the starter $5 plan, there's the core $10 plan, Enterprise Standard, and Enterprise Plus. So these are the four different plans that you can use for yourself, and they give really good features to work up with. So in the $5 starter, you get basic application and automation features, connect to spreadsheets and cloud, and you can get the whole app sheet database for yourself. Then on core, you have advanced application features, connect to spreadsheets, application security controls, email customer support, and app sheet database. And then obviously you go up and up to the enterprise plans. So choose the correct plan for yourself and then start creating. Now moving on, let's go over to templates. Now, AppSheet actually gives you templates to work along with. So over here, let's say we can create a simple survey template, a basic app structure for creating surveys or forms. So you can actually go ahead and copy the code off of this template. Then there's simple inventory, Kanban board, project tracker, and a whole lot more. All the codes for these are available and you don't have to do anything. You can also go ahead and edit them to whatever desire you want. You know, you can change them into any design that you desire you can change them into any look you can give them extra features that you want it's all dependent on you now moving on what we're also going to talk about is the basics on how we're actually going to create an app so you can build no code mobile and web apps with app sheet so first of all you're going to prepare your data okay you're going to use either you know google spreadsheets microsoft excel or any other csv platform out there open the spreadsheet and use all the data in column headers and rows so you're going to compile all the data just like this now once you have compiled the data you're going to connect your data through the csv to app sheet you know once the app sheet connecting is done you're going to familiarize yourself with the editor so you can choose to add different things and you have all these different features like home info data ux automation security intelligence users and manage and once you're done with all of that you can define how your connected data will be used so once you've connected your data and got familiarized with the actual ui editor you can go ahead and familiarize yourself with the work amount of the data once that is done, create views and customize your look and feel. And once that is done, you're going to create bots to run your automation and finally test, share and deploy your app. So these are the pretty simple steps. So to get started, simply come over here, click on get started. You can choose to create an account with any provider you have. I'm going to choose my Google because it's a Google based software and it's going to be much easier to just sign in with my Google account. Now, once you've done the signing in, you're going to allow them with consent. And once all of that is done, it's going to finally take you to the template section where you can choose to, you know, actually extend yourself to the apps you want to work with. Now, they're going to bring you to the onboarding, which I'm going to cross out right now, and I'm going to come over here. So it says create your first app. So I'm going to go ahead and explore some templates for myself. So once we open this up, we're again back here onto the templates. So let's say simple right now. Let's go ahead and create a simple survey. So I'm gonna go ahead and explore this first, okay? Before copying the actual code, let's go ahead and check it out. So it says it's a basic app structure for creating surveys or forms, okay? So you can either copy and customize it right now or you can look under the hood to check the actual editing and look at that. This is how the app and survey will look like. So you can use this app as a starting point for creating surveys for yourself. And uh, the actual building of the app is also available. Okay, so you can simply go ahead and copy and customize. So I'm going to click on copy app and it's going to start setting up a new app for you. 
So once this new app is set, all you're gonna wanna do from there is add your data from the spreadsheet into the app. And once the data is fully added from there, what's gonna be happening is simply you're gonna go ahead and you know test and deploy, create whatever UI and elements you wanna add into it. And once you have done all the basic stuff that needs to be done when it comes to creating you know normal surveys, you're pretty much set to go. So we're simply gonna wait for it to load us in. And once it's done fully and properly loading us in, we're going to come over here. Now, this is your basic editor. Okay, this was the editor I was talking about previously. Now, in this editor, first of all, you can actually go ahead and see how AppSheet will actually work, how you will actually use this editor. But if you want to get straight into it, you're going to see that on the right hand side, we have the actual template that you can choose to work with. And if you want to edit, small things individually, you can go over to them and click on this pencil icon over here. So this pencil icon that you can see is something that will help you edit individual elements in your design. So let's say I'm going to come over to the image section, I want to edit it, and I'm going to click on the editor right here. Now, once we click on the editor, it's going to load us in to the actual design where the section on the left hand side with the proper elements and once that opens up you can add any type of customization that you desire into your design so once we come over here it's going to give us the edit column edit column order and you can actually go ahead and edit the individualities in this column you can also go ahead and choose to add different things like different types of views different types of actions automations so let's say i want to add some data so to add data I'm going to come over here and over here we're going to click on plus so this will add a virtual column so let's say i'm going to give this column a name of age so i want to ask the age app formula so you're going to basically enter an expression for yourself so it's basically just going to be text okay because someone's just going to add a number and that's pretty much about it so i'm going to click on insert and i'm going to click on save so once this is done, simply click on done again. And here we have age. So the type for this is obviously you're going to find age over here. Now, if age is not over here, simply just go over to text. Okay. And once you do that, we are going to go ahead and find the age source for ourselves. Okay. So the age source will appear over here once you save your design. So now that we've saved our design, as you can see, it's it will sync the app with the data over here. And now once you scroll down, look at that. Now you have age. So anyone can add any age they want. And they're pretty much good to go. Now, once you have created your application and you're done, you're simply going to back out of this because now you properly have a full, you know, fully set it out in application. So you can actually open it in the browser. So it will open it up in a new tab. And look at this here, we have all our data. And we can go ahead and choose to add all the details we want in different ways. So pretty incredible and pretty fun stuff to have for yourself. Now, this was basically app sheet and how you can use app sheet for yourself in the easiest and most simplest way possible. Now, if app sheet was helpful to you, do let me know down in the comments below and do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel because that helps me out a lot. But yeah, that's the general idea of how you're going to create an application without any code. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end. And I will see all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.